Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So, today's story time is going to be about the time that I went missing. So, I do have a few things to say before we get started in today's video. So, in honor of Valentine's Day being, like, literally, like, a few days before, like, after I post this video, we are going to be doing, like, a pink, like, Valentine's Day themed look, kind of. Um, yeah. And another thing I would like to say is, um, because my last story time was such a disaster, I have... I wrote all the important details down for the story time in order, and it's right here. Um, and I'm going to try filming it differently, so, like, I'm not looking here, doing this, doing that, and everything. And so I'm not just, you know, watching me apply my foundation for, like, seven minutes and watching me do my eyeshadow for, like, 20 minutes straight. I'm going to do things, like, a little bit differently. Um, but, yeah, also, sorry about the pen, like, right here. I don't, I don't know how that even got there. And if I have to take a break in this story time, it is because I'm in extreme pain right now, so... Yeah, but anyway, as I said, today's story time is about to be about the time that I went missing. So, let's just get straight into today's story time. Okay, so, the weekend before Halloween, my sister had decided she was going to throw a Halloween party that Sunday. And so, she texted me Friday morning asking me if I wanted to sleep over and help her, you know, set up and everything. Okay, so Saturday rolls around, and pretty much the night before, I had packed and everything, so I didn't have to worry about that, and I got ready around 12, and around 1, I decided I was going to go outside while I wait for my sister to get out of work, and keep in mind, I had broke my phone a few days before this happened, so I had literally no way of keeping in contact with anyone or even checking the time. So I left my house as I said around 1 30 and I went to the park because that's where the friend group was and I wanted to hang out with them. So when I got there, there's like a few kids from my friend group and then my best friend was there. And so me and my best friend start hanging out and whatever. And then we just decide like we're bored of like sitting at the park. So we decide, okay, like we're gonna go walk around the neighborhood. So we left the park and we started walking around the neighborhood and then we get the beautiful idea, why don't we go into the woods? So we get to the woods and we look around like the sneaky teens that we are and we don't see anybody so we hurry up and we dive in. Like we were not about to get caught. So we get in and there's like this chain link fence that, separa that separates the entryway from the actual trail. And there was a hole in that fence, so we, obviously, being us, we climb through the fence and we start walking down this trail. Everything is going fine until my best friend spots a broken TV on the side of the trail and they decide to kick it. And when I say the freaking noise was louder than anything, like, I'm surprised the whole neighborhood did not hear it. Like, that was, like, so freaking loud. And then the glass broke, too, and I'm like, great. Because if the workers would have come down that trail and they saw the glass from the TV broken when it wasn't before, they would obviously be suspicious if somebody goes back there. So anyways, after that, we just keep walking down the trail um, until we get to the gate. And a little side note, the gate that we were at is like on this hill, right? And the hill goes like all the way down to like the fence we came in from. And it's also going to be important to note that there's a trail like a very wide trail actually that like follows that hill um all the way down and then like they both like turn left instead of because the fence is right there that separates like you know the entrance and stuff as i said um so the gate obviously was closed and we had to climb under it and there's rocks underneath the gate and so pretty much like because like sometimes if um you know you're pretty much flat chested enough and stuff you can get through the, um, you can just get through the gate because they don't like, you know, like lock it super tight so you can like get through it if you're not like too flat chested. So my best friend did that and I went underneath the freaking gate. And when I say that shit hurt my back so bad, it hurt my back like terribly. Um, so after we get out of the gate, we were originally just going to take the hill straight down and see where the hell it led. So, because we never been back to that part before, but we didn't feel like walking, so we just kind of, like, sat down on, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure this is perfect. So, as I said, we pretty much just, like, sat down, like, on the hill for, like, a few minutes, and we just sat there and, like, vibed. 
So while we were sitting on the hill, I got the idea that honestly we're just better off taking the trail instead of the hill so that the workers could not see us all the way from the factory because you can kind of see but like at the same time the trees made it hard but like you could still like definitely see if somebody was there because i've been up there before and we got to like go all the way up to the top and like we saw like the whole like woods and everything um and we were definitely not trying to get caught so while we were on the um trail we had noticed that there was a whole another trail that pretty much we had never saw before so we're like okay like we're just gonna like take it and we're gonna see where it goes because as i said we never saw it before so we take it and it ends up having like a fork in it and the left way didn't really like look too interesting it looked like it honestly just like led to like one of the other trails um because like as i said like a whole bunch of trails like connected and stuff so it honestly looked like it just led to that and we've been down that so many times before so we were like pretty much just gonna go the right way and we didn't know it at the time but a little problem was that the trail that we were going to when we were walking down it literally the entire neighborhood could see us from that trail like from the streets if someone was walking down that street they could like literally see us so that was a problem that we had to watch out for, but we didn't even know that that was, like, that at the time, because we had noticed that trial when we were, like, walking, like, you know, down the street to go to each other's houses, but we never know, like, how to get to it, and so, yeah, pretty much we had to watch out for that, because, you know, we were not trying to get caught, because a lot of people, um, like, on that side of the neighborhood are a little bit strict. I mean, pretty much the whole neighborhood is about, like, going back there, because, like, all this, you know, coyotes and stuff, so... So we ended up getting more down the trail, and that's when we pretty much realized, like, oh, shit, like, the whole neighborhood can see us. And there was a fence, right, that, like, separated everybody's backyards, like, directly from the woods. So if somebody was out in their backyards, they could also see us, too, so we were like, shit. And it didn't help at the time, because obviously it was October, so there was a whole bunch of leaves on the ground, and, you know... They were pretty much crunching underneath us, which made it louder. So we had to pretty much, like, tiptoe, but also, like, hurry at the same time. Because I didn't have, like, too long um, before my sister was going to be at my house. So we had to hurry, and but we also had to make sure, you know, we're not too freaking loud. I'm about to go fix that side. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're walking and minding our own business, right? And then all of a sudden, we hear someone in one of the backyards that we are right by. And so we pretty much get down and we start like carefully, like kind of like squat walking, I guess, to, you know, just forward more so that like the person couldn't see us because the noise was coming like from like a little bit behind us. Um, but when we looked, we didn't really see anybody, but we were still not about to take that, take that chance. And our legs were getting all, all muddy and stuff because it had rained like a few days before this all happened. And with it being October, it's not like it's just going to dry up like right away. So we have a little bit of mud on us and stuff, but um, we didn't care. Like we just wanted to keep walking forward because if we walk backwards, God knows where that person was. So we keep walking and a little side note, at this point, I pretty much forgot that my sister was going to come pick me up that day. So I, at this point, thought we had all the time in the world and it had to have been at least 45 minutes by this point because we got so far in and we were like down this trail. This trail was long and it kind of looked like there was like a big opening and we wanted to make it to, like, that big, like, field-looking thing and, you know, like, see what's back there and stuff. Because, as I said, we never went back to this part before. Um, so. But, fun fact, we didn't end up making it because we got the bright idea to check my best friend's watch. And we checked the time. And it is, like, 2.45. And my sister said that she was going to be there at, like, 3.30. And we were not about to have enough time to get all the way back down that trail go fi go like follow like all the curves to um the trail that we were on and then go down and then go through the woods and stuff and plus god knows that the workers were out there so we decided we need to start hurrying back so we are hurrying back and at this point like we're just like slipping and sliding because we're trying to speed walk and as i said there's months where we're like kind of like slipping in the mud and stuff it was just a whole disaster and i was you know i was like wait like my mom's gonna see all this mud on me and she's about to wonder where the hell i was and what i was doing and especially if i was late and plus i don't want to get all that mud on my sister's car too 
So I was like kind of like panicking at that point. I was like, oh no, sweetheart, like what are we gonna do? Um, because it's not like I just have like a whole bunch of wipes with me, you know, in case like this shit happens. So when we're about to get off that trail that like we noticed was like on the trail that was like next to the hill, all of a sudden we hear the freaking tractor. And by tractor, you guys are probably wondering what tractor. So uh, if you have not watched my We Got Stuck in the Woods tour time, go watch that and you'll kind of like know what tractor I'm talking about. So basically like the workers are driving the tractor back there and doing like work and it was getting closer. So we were like, shit, like we ain't getting out of here anytime soon. And a few minutes later, because we kept like carefully like walking and we were like being super quiet at this point, we could hear the freaking intercom come on for the factory and we heard a guy talking over from it and we're like uh, yeah we we're just really not gonna get out of here anytime soon and that's when i'm like shit i'm gonna have to be late like there's nothing we can do like i we shouldn't have gone back here in the first place let alone when i had to go like somewhere so you know that was my fault i'm gonna go touch this side up though because the side for some reason the makeup on this side just doesn't look too good today i just i don't know what it is like ew so we walk on, we get off that second trail that was off of that, like, trail by the hill, and we start pretty much, like, carefully, like, tiptoeing and stuff to make sure none of the workers are, and then we hear the tractor start to get even closer to us, and we're like, oh, shit. So at this point, we're pretty much looking for a kind of, like, you know, decent, like, spot to go sit down so that, you know, like, we wouldn't be seen, and we come across this, like, baby kind of, like, trail-looking thing that kind of led to this, like, little, like, small trail spot, so we hurry up and get in there, and we can just hear, like, the workers just messing around and getting closer, and then we hear, because, like, we freaking hear, like, someone, like, start walking down the trail, and, like, we look at each other, and we're, like, about to shit ourselves at this point, we're, like, oh, no, like, that we're about to get caught, and I, I was not about to deal with that, like, at all i mean period as i said i'm folded like a whole pencil and it's so uncomfortable we but we like sit there for like 25 minutes waiting to make sure like you know like this guy is gone because we were not about to get caught period sis so we are like sitting there folded like pencils my back is starting to get like really achy and then eventually my best friend gets up and starts walking out of where we were and i got up and did the same because at this point i was just ready to get the frick out of there so we look around carefully making sure the coast is clear the coast is clear on this travel like we can still hear the tractor at this point it wasn't as like close sounding as it was like previously so we're like okay like maybe this is it like maybe we can hurry up and get the hell out of here so we walked down the trail following the hill because we were originally like gonna like crawl up the hill but then we decided it's probably just not gonna work like our best bet just to you know stay on the trail and i peeked my head like around the trail and no one's in sight and the gate is obviously open at this point so we literally just like start running up the hill as fast as we can go like i was running i swear to god my legs were gonna fall off and it does not help like it's hard to run on a hill i don't know if I don't know if it's just me, but, like, it's kind of, like, hard to, like, you know, like, run up and down a hill. I don't know if that's just me, but. So, I'm, like, struggling over here. And we make it, and we just completely start running back to, like, towards the entrance. And we did not stop until we got to that fence. Like, we were just not about to deal with the workers. Period, sis. So, at this point, we fling ourselves through the gate, and... We were crouched down in the opening, trying to see if there was anybody walking or outside or just any cars. And we had noticed the rest of the front group walking past the entrance. And we would we were hoping they like low key wouldn't notice us, but they did. And they start waving to us, like waving us over like immediately. And I was like, oh shit, I already know I'm late. Like I had a feeling they was about that. And they were like they my ex best friend goes like to me she looks at me she goes you gotta get home now like your grandparents your parents and your sister are have been driving around the neighborhood for the past 25 minutes wondering where you've been and no one saw you or heard from you and they're ready to call the cops and so at this point i literally take my shoes off and i start booking it down the street 
freaking bear fight. I didn't really care at this point. And when I get home, I see my, when I'm like walking down my street, like I see that my sister's car is gone and my grandparents' car is there. And the funny thing is, I don't even know why they were looking for me when they don't even like me. Like, you really had to get my grandparents involved? Please. Like, we don't get along at all, but that's not what the story time's about. So as soon as I'm about to set foot in this, um, the driveway, the front door opens, and, I, like, that shit swings open, it's my dad, he's like, where have you been, like, get inside now, so I go inside, and my mom's like, where have you been, and I just avoid the question, because what would I tell them, so I just avoid the question, and I'm like, I'm sorry, I lost track of time, and they just, we just locked it out of that, and so I go, I take up off all my makeup, so I had makeup on that day, so I take off all of my makeup and I go to bed because at this point, like, I was just, you know, scared to be downstairs at all. And, yeah, like, I wasn't really grounded. My sister had to leave because she had a whole bunch of things to do, which is completely understandable. Um, but, yeah, also, another reason why I just could not get caught in the woods um, was because I have this blade, right? And it was like a purple dragon one, I think. And I can't remember. I haven't had it in a while. And I didn't realize it at the time because I didn't know like how to tell like legal from legal, which dumb of me. But anyway, and also if you're wondering why I was carrying around a blade, bro, the girls in my neighborhood are literally psycho. And they're like, they just, they just love to hate me and love to like start shit. And in case they ever like try to like beat my ass or something or like seriously hurt me, that's what I would use it for. But, you know, I'm not just about to go walk up and be like, bam, obviously. Um, so, pretty much I had it for self-defense. I didn't realize, like, how to tell, um, you know, if a blade was illegal at the time. And so, my best friend taught me, the same best friend that was with me. And pretty much, you have to take your four fingers. And the, if the blade is bigger going this way, it's illegal. And the blade was bigger. And I did not want to get caught with that blade. Um, but, Yeah. I don't even know what happened to it. Like, I came home from school one day, and my mom had cleaned my room, and I haven't saw it since. You know? Um, but anyways, that's it for today's story time. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you want to, subscribe, please. Um, let me know if you guys liked it better, like, me, like, doing it this way, so you're not just watching me put on my foundation for, like, seven minutes and ramble and, like, get sidetracked. Let me know if you guys like it better this way, because I, it was kind of hard to film this way because I'm not used to it yet. But I'll be more than happy to, you know, film my story times this way. But, um, yeah, if I don't post a story time next Friday, I'm going to post a vlog. But I'm probably just going to continue posting story times on Fridays for, like, the next, like, two weeks. Or three weeks, maybe. Or at least as long as I need so I can get back on track. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next story time. Until Friday. Have a good week and bye guys.